What's happening guys, Mike here from Hammer Fitness and today I want to talk to you guys about pretty much being hungry all the time. Now this can be really, really frustrating when you're trying to stick to a diet. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you're in a deficit and you're trying to lose weight or you're in a, even in a surplus and you're trying to gain weight but at the same time you don't want to gain too much weight but sometimes you find yourself just absolutely ravenous. All right? Sometimes it can be a good thing, sometimes it can be a bad thing. Usually a bad thing if you're on a deficit and you're trying to lose weight, but that's usually the norm. Now sometimes it can be really blown out <clears throat> and it just feels like nothing is satisfying your hunger. All right? And there could be a few reasons to this. Now, number one is definitely gonna be because you're in a calorie deficit, you're actually, uh, in a deficit where you're not giving your body enough fuel to use uh, during the day. Now that is totally normal because that makes sense, right? You're not giving your body enough fuel, therefore it will be hungry, but that's where it actually switches and it takes from the fat, which is actually fuel on your body, okay? <clears throat> it can be to a point where you should actually uh, almost click over into a point. It should be about the two week mark uh, where your hunger or satiety level should go down, okay? Sorry, satiety level should go up, your hunger level should go down, where your body knows what it needs to do to actually uh, be satisfied and actually start taking from fat. Now, this is how you lose fat. It shouldn't be such a process where you feel drained all the time and you feel hungry all the time. What I want you to look out for in your diet, <clears throat> if you're either following someone else's diet or you're just uh, freestyling it and you're just entering in, into MyFitnessPal because you can be doing that and I've recommended that to you before, MyFitnessPal if you haven't already downloaded it, is the nutrient density of your fuel or food. Okay, You really want to be looking out for this because this is the way it works. Your body not only needs fuel, which you're going to get from your protein, carbs, fats, but your body also needs nutrients, all right? So your vitamins and minerals, your pH level, everything is coming into control with nutrients, all right? Nutrients do so much more, which I'll probably cover in another video, but <clears throat> it's the way the body runs, all right? The fuel is what's getting the body going. And the nutrients is how the body is conductive, it's how it's gonna work, the pHs, uh, pH levels are regulated, uh, your immunity, skin, everything is to do with the nutrients. Now your body needs a certain amount, just like it needs a certain amount of fuel to keep going during the day. And if you don't actually satisfy your body's needs of nutrients, what your brain's gonna do is actually signal your uh, hunger hormone ghrelin to activate so hopefully your brain's thinking hopefully this guy actually or girl gives me the food I need uh, to actually satisfy the nutrients I need all right I hope that makes sense so let's say for example <clears throat> you play down a packet of chips all right zero nutrient density nothing it is full of fat and crap all right Sat saturated fats you can get some good saturated fats but Whatever they are, let's say you're eating chips, you get through a whole bag and you're thinking, well, crap, I should be really full after that. I ate a whole bag, right? Your body's thinking, sure, the fuel's there, but where are the nutrients that we needed to, let's say, regulate our hormones or keep our immunity up because of the weekend that we had or something like that? It's actually going to be like, okay, none of that was filled. Quickly stimulate ghrelin. Uh, we need to keep getting uh, fuel and hopefully there's some nutrients in the next lot of food that we eat. All right, so then you go to the next bag of chips. Brain again, no nutrients. Keep the hunger hormone up. We're hopefully gonna get some food sometime with some nutrients, all right? This is the way it's gonna happen. Now let's say you eat some veggies, okay? Some green veggies that is very, very nutrient dense. Okay, that's where your vitamins and minerals are. At the same time, veggies are very low in calories, low in macronutrients, uh, which is kind of good when you're in a cut. Just think of veggies as like your multivitamin, your, ma your natural multivitamin that your body absolutely craves. This is why it should be a side on almost every single dish, okay? <clears throat> you should have that pretty much alongside more macronutrients that is going to support the diet you're on. Uh, because they're so low in, uh, uh, low in calories, your body could be hungry, yes, 
but that's where you put it onto a side with your meat or pasta or rice or whatever. I don't recommend pasta anyway. If you can get gluten free, do that. <clears throat> but this is how you're going to reach a level of satiety. All right, so one, macronutrients. All right, so make sure you're hitting your targets of your protein, carbs, and fats. Two, nutrient density, the almost more important one, all right? Our body requires nutrients to actually pretty much work efficiently, work the way it needs to, okay? I'm gonna cover pH levels on another video, which is almost just as important, um, but make sure to stay tuned, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and give our Facebook page a like to keep up to date with all our weekly updates and advice. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. So, the take home tip, nutrient density foods like your veggies and stuff, Fruit is good, yes, but it's loaded with sugar, and I really think that fruit and veg should be split up, all right? It's fruit, then it's veg, all right? If you can, go more your veggies and get those good macros in, all right? Peace for now, guys. I'll see you in the next video.